Greetings, Fright fans! We return for the final play in the Halloween Hammer Vault, and we enter a darker vault of horror. Master! What is it, Igor? It's the baby, it's awake! Then lock it in the dungeon with the rest of the infants, Igor! Oh, as if I had time for a baby. You never have time for anything. Unfortunately, I don't, Igor. Do you know what the final play is tonight? The Hounds of Love, Master. No, unfortunately we couldn't do the Hounds of Love. It wouldn't be permitted in a fine establishment like this. Do you remember what happened to the last actress? Oh, she went insane. Oh, indeed she did. Where is she now, Igor? Oh, she's locked in the asylum, Master. All she does now is sing nursery rhymes and eats her own feces. <laughs> Such is the fate of all who see the hounds of love. And stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because that shall be coming soon to a stage near you. But for now, this is a different, darker play. And I warn you, no matter what you do, never walk in a dead man's shoes. hasn't hit you again, has he? No, it wasn't like that. It was, it was silly. <gasps> Nate was just back from a shift and I couldn't find a remote and it's nothing. It was silly. Barbara, you have to get away from him. Claire, he's my husband. Then divorce him! <laughs> Barbara, you can't go on like this. It's like the time he broke your arm. He did not break my arm. That was the way I felt. Because he pushed you. Claire, I don't want to be fighting with this. I'm just here to have a nice lunch with my friend, okay? I haven't been here before. Is the food nice? Barbara. Oh, Barbara! Sorry, Barbara. Barbara! I'm sorry! Oh, just, Barbara, just leave it. Just stop. I'm sorry. Oh, Barbara, wait! Expecting somebody else, were you? Just, just get me a beer, will you? You're fucking useless, aren't you? Where's the tea? That's a nice of fucking joke, Babs. It's better than the old days. Oh. What's the matter? Don't like that on the table? Don't like much these days, do you? Don't like me being around those Romanian crackers either. Is this one girl? They call her Debbie Duck. Now, our Debbie, she doesn't have a lot of teeth in her mouth. She knows how to use it all the same. I'm saying. Debbie Duck, she loves to suck. She'll suck you dry. Oh, me, oh my. What's wrong with you? Nothing, I'm just trying to eat. So eat? No? What the 
break it open. You know what you remind me of down there, Bob? Oh, yeah. What's about her? I'm not jealous of her, are you? Jealous of Debbie Duck? Right. No! Come here. Please! Come on! Please! Show no! Debbie how it's done! Take it out! No! Take it out! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Go on! Fucking done it. <laughs> you have fucking done it now! Are you that for nothing? No! So why don't we, uh, red them, right? <laughs> I mean, that I thing. I got this last week. What, like the one from the one from the X Factor Wars? Hey, you know, the one with the big tits. <laughs> You're discreet. Excuse me. Excuse me, Sandra. Hi. Uh, Hi, Hugh. How's it going? Very well, thanks. I was just talking to Sarah. She told me you might be going to the apartment for cocktails before the work do, and I... Uh, don't tell me you found one for cocktails with the girls before the work day. No, 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 no. You know, I just thought if it is before going out, then we... Uh, no, man. Come with me, big man, right? Me and some of the lads are going down the the road. Down at the big house. The big house? Aye. Sure, I'll see you there at six, right? Wait, wait, wait. So sorry, Jeffy. I don't know what it is. Sure, give a taxi. Are we going to lunch here? Hmm. Why? Well, I'll split my vision with you. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> see you later here. Bye. Maybe the work to do, we can... Oh, and, uh, good. You give us the silt around the forest? Good man, all the best. See ya. Is she? Because she was defending herself from that evil bastard. I seriously doubt it will come to that. P.S. and I were aware of Nate being... An evil bastard? He has quite a reputation, yes. <laughs> then why didn't you do something about it sooner? Claire! No, you're right, Miss Thorne. We didn't do enough to protect Barbara. I'm ashamed. I really am. I think I'll head back to the station now. If you need anything about what we talked about, the... Hey, Jennifer. Thank you. What's that? His things. His clothes, his rings, his boots. I don't want them in the house anymore. 
Let's burn him. No, we're going to take him to the charity shop. We're away to Sainsbury's. Maybe some good can come out of it. I say burn him. Just like he's burning in hell. <laughs> Face first in the fire while he's being robbed by a big demon from hell. <laughs> Sunrise gonna be mine. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, cowboy. Where are you going now? Get up. We gone for the OK Corral? No, no, but seriously, seriously. Will you not be eating a horse to ride out into. Oh my god, what did you do? You! What the hell are you doing? You! What is wrong with you? You! My name is Sir you bitch. It's Nate Kane. 
of piano like a lemon, maybe. Oh, it'd be nice to have a change after all that red. Nate chose the colour scheme, of course, after we bought the house. Would you care? Oh, thank you. No. No, I think the being pretty close down now, but perhaps we would go to Ikea and say anything. No, somebody at the door, I think. No, I'm not expecting anyone. I have to see how it is. Like, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. Hey, darling! Miss me? Get out! Get out of my house! It is my house. Get out! Get out now! Oh, what? Are you gonna shoot me? Are you gonna shoot me? Shoot me in the heart? Good dance. Are you Barbara? Who are you? It's me, Bubs. Not even wearing your wedding ring no more. On me, on mine. No. Yeah. No! You're yeah. not! Yes, I am, baby. You didn't think you were gonna get away from me that easy, did ya? Yeah. No! You're no! I'm not dead. But you soon will be. Barbara! Barbara! It's not over, bitch. You're gonna sleep sometime. But when you wake up, I'll be waiting. and put out an APB on the man you described. I'll send a police car to patrol the area. I'll give you a call tomorrow to update you, okay? I strongly advise that you stay somewhere else for a while. As we have contacts in social housing. No, I'm not staying anywhere the police might know. Can you stay with Barbara? Yes, of course. But she kept saying it was Nate. I'm not an expert on psychology, but I think this might be a manifestation of post-traumatic stress. I'd appreciate it if you could stay with Barbara. She hasn't even been to the doctor yet. She doesn't even have an appointment for another six weeks. Six weeks? It's the only appointment the doctor could give her. Sweet Jesus. I'll give the solicitor a call tomorrow and see if I get engraved onto the priority appointments list. I have Valium I can give her? No. Let the doctor decide the prescription. But if she needs one. Yeah. I'll be in touch. Yeah. Barbara? I have to get out of here. Oh, well, okay, you can come and stay at my house. No, you don't look for me. There's the first place you go. Okay, okay, then we'll stay at a hotel. What about your dad's place and the caravan and Donegal? We can go there. Barbara, we can't get there now. It's nearly 12. Look, I'll go and get my car and you pack a bag and we'll go and stay at a hotel, even the one near the Titanic. Okay. okay let's do that. Yeah. I'll get my car, pack a bag, and I'll be back in 10 minutes, okay? 10 minutes? Or do you not want to come with me then? No, the Jennifer said there was a patrol. Um, you go get your things. 
I'll pack mine. Ten minutes. Yeah. Okay, lock. Lock the door behind me. somewhere? What are you doing? Where are you running to? It's you. You're the one that broke into Barbara's house, dressed in that bastard's clothes. You twisted fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! It's my close bitch. Oh, by the way, Claire, I heard what you said. <laughs> What you said. So how was it? Face first in the fire? Oh. Uh, getting rammed by a demon from hell. Let's try it. What do you think? Oh. 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 So I. Bit of an incident in the center of town there. Young lad was hit so hard in his stomach that his kidney ruptured. What was the weapon? His fist. Some kind of military move. It kind of reminded me. What? What is it? The way you. His hit, the words that he used, I don't know, reminded me of Nate. Nate? Nate can. Snow. It's uploaded onto the shared drive of wire. I'm allowed to read it. He's in 7C. Yes, Snow, wait. Look, just be careful in there, all right? Well, well, well. If it isn't the Snow White, how you doing, darling? Have we met? What do you think? I don't recognize your face. I like my face. <laughs> Interview resumed at 9 10 p.m. Detective Sergeant Jennifer Snow. Mr. Virgo. You assaulted two people in the city center this evening. Two colleagues from your workplace. Look, I went over this already with McGuire. Let's go over it again. All right. Just like that old captor, the man with the move to attack me. I hit him first. Automatic. Self-defense. He hit him twice. Once in the throat, once above the kidney. One, two, real fast. Hit up in three seconds. Automatic. Self-defense. And the girl, Sandra. Do you remember what you said to her? Nope. You said you're Nate Kane. No, I didn't say that. Did you know Nate Kane? Nate Kane? <sighs> the name sounds familiar. You're wearing his clothes. Oh, Nate Kane, yeah. Head of a man. Sharp as a duck. Yeah, Nate Kane. I could not get one over on him. <laughs> Why are you wearing his clothes? I think Nate gave them to me. Where did 
you go after the assault? I think I want to see Nate. Nate Keen's dead, Mr. Vargo. I think we both know that. Yeah, you don't seem very upset about that. No, I'm not. Why is that? Nate Keen was a degenerate. He was a disgrace to the police service in Northern Ireland. He was a pig of a man. I doubt anyone would warn him. I know I won't. Is it alright? Is that right, Snow White? Like you're so fucking hot? Do you think you're something special? You're not. You should have seen working as a clinical officer in the typing pool. Yeah. Glenar! Do you remember Glenar? You thought you could stop the grand death in the boats all by yourself. You could not even stop two glues living skanks from some single tongue in the glance. They did a fucking number on you, right? They bust you up. And if McGuire and Nate K they'd not arrive in time, they might have mopped the deck with you. And I don't remember you stopping those officers from beating those wee bastard senses now. You turn a blind eye on that. So don't be so fucking high and almighty with me. Now what? You got nothing to say? What's up, Snow? Can't got your tongue? Tell us this. Have you heard from Ray? Snow. How is Detective Inspector Damien Ray? Still in Glasgow, right? Yeah. He never could look at you after you aborted his child. You know what? If a woman did that on me, there would be hell to pay on me, on mine. So you're done? See you around, Snow White. And if you terminated at 9 10 p.m. since last night and I spoke to her dad and he hasn't seen her either and I know it's only a few hours but I just know something's wrong. Please, can you call me back when you get this message? Come on, Barbara! 
Nothing to say? No last words, baby? Go to hell! You first. But tell them, Nate is gonna send you there. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's not right. Don't move. What are you doing, Taylor? Come on. Are you gonna shoot me again? Yes. You're not gonna shoot me, Barbara? Give me the gun. Give me the gun. I'll make it easy for you. One shot. You know, that's how it's gonna end. Come on. An eye for an eye. Don't! Just stop it! Why me? you just die? Why? Why? Maybe because of the thought of dying because of you, of a pathetic little cry baby, was enough to give me spinning in my grave. Oh baby, it's no way in hell that a cowardly little bitch like you is gonna be the death of me. Coward? I am a coward. I was a coward to stay with you, not get away from you sooner. I'm so afraid of you. Do you know something, Nate? Since you died, I haven't grieved. I haven't mourned. There's nothing to mourn, nothing to grieve for. I thought I would feel guilt. But I didn't. I didn't feel guilt. I didn't feel shame. I felt like a weight had been lifted. Like a bad smell had been washed out of the house. Like a stain had been cleaned. And I was glad. I wished you dead. I wanted you dead, and yes, I shot you dead, and everything was better. The world was a better place without you in it. I was better. I didn't have to smell you. I didn't hear you. Oh, I got me in bed. I'm so much better without you, Nate. You, you're nothing without me. You're just a stain. You're just a disgusting stain! Get down to your fucking knees and clean up. Get out! Ah! Except he's on, darling. Ah! Now you gotta hell. Here is your ticket.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of our show. I hope you enjoyed the Halloween Hammer Vault. And I hope you all have a very happy Halloween. Thank you. Did you the monster from my laboratory in the castle?